Hi, it's Katrina. From animals hiding in plain sight to creative military strategies, here are 12 of the world's most insane camouflage to evade detection by the enemy. Number 12. Owls Owls are some of the most effective nocturnal predators with their virtually silent wings, powerful eyesight, and sharpened talons to grab their unsuspecting prey. During the day, however, they need to stay out of harm's way, and to do this they use very effective camouflage. There are at least 216 different species of owl, and each one does this in a slightly different way. It's amazing how well their feathers allow them to blend into the background. Different species are native to different climates, and so reflect the common color schemes found there. It's not just their feathers that they can use to camouflage either. Owls are also able to increase their size or make themselves look small and skinny. This allows them to fit into the grooves and curves of a tree, for example, to make themselves look like a part of the natural structure. Owls are very difficult to spot. Number 11. Leaf-tailed Gecko the 14 members of the leaf-tailed gecko genus possess an uncanny ability to blend in with, as you can probably guess, leaves. Endemic to Madagascar, these tiny lizards are hard to spot, not only because of their amazing ability to blend in with their surroundings, but also because they are nocturnal, emerging to hunt only at nighttime. They are easily recognized by their broad, leaf-shaped tail that looks pretty much exactly like a dead leaf. The most unique species of leaf-tailed gecko is arguably the satanic leaf-tailed gecko. Intense name, right? While little is known about their diet in the wild, it seems this species feeds on everything they can get their paws on, including crickets, flies, spiders, cockroaches, and snails. Larger leaf-tailed gecko species even eat small mice. The creature's tail looks so much like a real leaf, it even has missing chunks that resemble parts of a leaf that have rotted away or been chewed on, something writer Matt Simon from Wired accurately refers to as a testament to natural selection. Not only can the gecko also change color to match its background, but it has a flap of skin that helps prevent it from casting a shadow. If they do get attacked, they won't hesitate to snap off their tail, leaving their enemy holding onto their dead leaf instead of the crucial body parts. Over time, the leaf-like tail will grow back. Like other geckos, they will also bark, scream, and hum at the attacker to try to scare it away. If all else fails, they will open their mouths to show off their reddish tongue and mucosa and try to bite. Their eyes will also turn red, hence why the native people of Madagascar fear this gecko just like they fear the eye eye. If they see one, they think it is a bad omen. Number 10. Psychedelic Camouflage the advent of something called razzle-dazzle camouflage during World War I worked based on the philosophy of confusing the enemy rather than hiding from them. It was developed for British merchant ships in response to the effective and highly destructive attacks by German U-boats, which sank 5,700 vessels, killing 12,700 non-combatants. Since traditional camouflage was designed for terrestrial warfare rather than marine settings, a new innovation was needed for protecting British vessels. Norman Wilkinson, a Royal Navy Volunteer Reserve Lieutenant who was a painter, graphic designer, and illustrator at his day job, designed Dazzle, a highly conspicuous camouflage involving brightly colored cubist and geometric designs, as well as swirls and other abstract shapes that were impossible not to notice, and which were meant to confuse German U-boat officers. The wild and crazy patterns made it difficult for enemies to gauge the ship's size, speed, direction, and distance. It was also hard to know which end of the ship was which. There was little margin for error when it came to shooting torpedoes, so by complicating an officer's ability to calculate the ship's position and where it was heading, an entire ship could be saved. Number 9. Household Cavalry Camouflage The household cavalry of the British Army is made up of its two most senior regiments. Their job is to protect the Queen and to publicly represent the British military both at home and abroad. In late 2017, the Household Cavalry posted an image on Twitter of six camouflaged soldiers in the woods in Salisbury Plain, a chalk plateau in southern central England. They're so well hidden it's virtually impossible to identify where the soldiers are in the picture. The soldiers also release an image of themselves in the same setting, but partially revealed, offering clues to the soldiers' locations, as well as a photograph revealing the answers to the puzzle. How many soldiers did you spot without cheating? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Buff Tip Moth The Buff Tip Moth is a common, medium-sized moth species that is found throughout Europe and Asia all the way to eastern Siberia. It can normally be seen from May to July, if you're able to spot one, that is. 
This species is nocturnal like most moths, and it spends its days resting, blending in seamlessly with the birch twigs it perches itself on, thanks to its coloring and the way it sits with its wings against its body. One way to spot a buff tip moth is to observe them in mass at nighttime as they gather to feed on lime, birch, hazel, and willow tree leaves. Thankfully, while it's normal for buff tip moths to completely strip a branch of its foliage, they rarely cause serious damage to a plant. If you want to see one of these cleverly disguised creatures during the day, look very closely for an insect that resembles a broken birch twig. Number 7. Island Camouflage Following the Battle of the Java Sea in 1942, the last standing Dutch warship, the HNLMS Abraham Kreinsen, had to somehow flee to Australia undetected after the three ships it planned to travel with were attacked. The slow-moving minesweeper, which could only travel at a maximum of 15 knots and was equipped with very few guns, had little chance of escaping without somehow disguising itself from enemy eyes, particularly Japanese bombers from above. But how do you hide an entire warship? Sounds impossible, right? Actually not! After desperately brainstorming for a solution, the Kreinsen's 45-member crew decided to disguise the vessel as an island. They traveled to nearby islands, felled and gathered as many trees as possible, and brought them back on deck. Then they covered as much of the ship as possible, arranging the trees like a jungle canopy, and painting the remaining exposed parts of the ship to resemble rocks. To avoid detection by the enemy, the crew did not move the ship during the day. After all, a moving island would have blown their cover. The vessel sailed throughout the night, and as dawn approached, the sailors would anchor it near real islands, hoping to maintain its disguise among Indonesia's 18,000 islands. The ruse worked, and after an eight-day journey, the Kreinsen was reunited with Allied forces in Australia. Number 6. Russia's New Spy Drone in mid-2019, Russia revealed its new combat surveillance drone at its Defense Ministry's annual military expo outside Moscow. The wheeled, remote-controlled machine looks a lot like a snowy owl with its wings spread, which makes perfect sense since the species can be found in parts of the country and because it probably blends in well in the frozen Siberian tundra, at least from a distance. Up close, the disguise is far less impressive and more closely resembles a sedated, cartoonish owl with a window in place of its beak, rather than a lifelike, fierce predator. Its developer disagrees, however, telling the state-run TASS news agency that the drone's incognito appearance allows it to approach targets unnoticed. To their credit, as silly looking as the drone may seem, the US intelligence community is also reportedly working on its own owl-like drone, suggesting that this type of camouflage may be pretty effective after all. The 11-pound unmanned drone is equipped with a laser beam for guiding artillery and aviation, according to the ministry's Vesda news channel. It can fly for up to 40 minutes at a time, and is capable of identifying targets up to 33 feet away. Number 5. Tasseled Anglerfish the tasseled anglerfish is common in the reefs around Australia. You can stare at images of this fish for ages without spotting it. Its camouflage is so good in between the sponges and the seaweed. But once you spot its eye, you can just about make out the shape of the fish. Again, this form of camouflage is crucial to keeping the tasseled anglerfish hidden from predators, but it's also vital for them to get food of their own. This fish actually fishes very patiently. They are naturally slow fish and aren't the most agile as they move through the water. They prefer instead to encourage prey to come to them. As with all anglerfish species, it has a lure called an elysium. This has a worm-like structure on the tip of it which the fish twitches through the water. Hungry fish see what they think is a worm and swim in to eat it, completely unaware of the anglerfish that is camouflaged within the surroundings. Before you know it, the unsuspecting fish has been swallowed whole, and the anglerfish can put out its lure to do the same thing all over again. Number 4. Pygmy Seahorse Pygmy seahorses are hard to spot in the first place because of how tiny they are. Measuring just 0.8 inches long on average, they are smaller than a paperclip, and they're so clever at hiding themselves, scientists were unaware that pygmy seahorses existed until they accidentally discovered one in 1969 while examining the coral they live in. These tiny creatures look exactly like the coral they call home, right down to the color, markings, texture, and size. This perfect camouflage is critical to the pygmy seahorse's survival because they are so delicate they are unable to fight off predators. By looking exactly like its coral habitat, a pygmy seahorse becomes practically invisible, effectively evading the marine creatures it shares the tropical waters of Southeast Asia's coral triangle with. 
and who will eagerly snack on one if they can find it. To find out whether the pygmy seahorse adapts to match its surroundings, or if it deliberately seeks out a habitat that matches its looks, in 2014, scientists from the California Academy of Sciences collected a breeding pair and separated their offspring into two tanks, one with purple coral and the other with orange coral. The babies developed differently according to which tank they were in, with each growing to resemble its surroundings. Pretty neat, huh? Number 3. Spy Trees During World War I, the French, British, and German militaries used something called observation trees. These fake trees enabled soldiers to get closer to the front lines in a way that enabled them to avoid drawing lethal attention to their presence, and which allowed them a closer look at the enemy's operations. The French were the first to employ this innovative strategy in 1915, and they taught it to the British shortly thereafter. Then the Germans caught on and adopted the tactic. This method of camouflage involved a lot more than simply making a fake tree. First, engineers would photograph and detail a recently fallen tree, usually one that had been blasted by a bomb, near the front lines. They measured the dimensions precisely and took note of any distinctive features. Then, artists created an identical life-sized replica of the tree, right down to the same broken and dead limbs, using wrinkled painted iron as bark. The faux trees were hollow inside and contained an armored tube for soldiers to safely station themselves in, as well as a rope ladder which the soldier would ascend to reach a metal seat at the top. This gave him the advantage of being able to see what his adversaries were up to, looking through a periscope or telescope and reporting their observations to their fellow troops. Installing one of these fake trees was arguably more dangerous than sitting inside of one. To avoid enemy detection, this was often done under the cover of night, with engineers stealthily removing the fallen tree and fixing its replacement into place. Number 2. Gray Tree Frog The gray tree frog is a small species that grows to just 1.5 to 2 inches long and is endemic to the eastern U.S. and southeastern Canada. Its scientific name, Dryophytes versicolor, owes to its ability to change its color from gray to brown and green for camouflage purposes, depending on its surroundings. These warty frogs change color more slowly than a chameleon, but can still transform in seconds. When they're in unnatural habitats, they generally remain gray, and when they're cold, they tend to be gray or dark. They can also adjust their coloring to have blotches on their back. Generally speaking, gray tree frogs change color to blend in with tree bark. The species relative, the Cope's gray tree frog, is found in much of the same geographic range as the gray tree frog, and the two are virtually indistinguishable from each other. The gray tree frog is a little bigger than the Cope's, it has bumpier skin, and its call is more musical. You'll have to look closely if you're hoping to spot one of these frogs. They're nocturnal and spend their days resting on trees and shrubs, which they blend in with seamlessly. Number 1. Octopus The octopus is arguably by far the most intelligent creature that uses camouflage. They can easily change color and use it as a very advanced tool. Unlike other animals whose camouflage comes from constant colorations, an octopus can change its color depending on its needs. They are able to do this because they have chromatophores beneath their skin, which use a combination of pigment, nerves, and muscles to change their external appearance. They are thought to change based on thought alone, so once the brain of the octopus, or one of their brains, gives the signal, the color change ripples through its body. Octopuses can also change the texture of their skin to mimic their surroundings. Some species, such as the mimic octopus, are even able to impersonate the shape of other sea creatures. So if they see a predator approaching, they will make themselves appear to be something far less tasty. Unless it moves, sometimes an octopus can be sitting right in front of you and you would never even know. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!